Do you ever feel like you have all these transactions sitting, waiting for you to enter because you're not sure what the expenses are, whether it's on, from your bank statement or you're getting from your bank feeds? I wanted to share with you today an account you can set up that will allow you to keep moving forward. Hi, I'm Candace Camper, and I am the creator of Confidence with QuickBooks and I am so excited to share today's tip with you. So first things first, you're gonna wanna go up and set up a new account. So you're gonna go under list chart of accounts. This tip was actually inspired by my own team. <laughs> We have a new person helping us with our bookkeeping and she had some receipts that she was looking for. And I was like, I'm going to show you how to set up this account so that you can keep moving forward. And then I'll go figure out what you need. So you're going to go down to your goal first to list chart of accounts, go down to account new, come over here to the select account, choose other expense. This way it shows up at the bottom. And typically you'll see in your other accounts that you'll have something like ask my accountant. And that's best if you have questions for your accountant. This case, it's like questions for your partner, your husband, somebody else in your own business typically that you wanna ask questions to. So you can say, ask my client, my partner, my husband, myself, like whoever it is that you need some more data from. And then you click save and close. That creates a new account and you'll see it here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually enter the transaction. So whether it's a credit card charge, whatever it is, you're gonna come in and say, it's a check. You're gonna to go to write checks. You're gonna put in the date that the transaction happened. Come over here, say you went to ACE and say it was for $105 and five cents. Then you're gonna come over and you're gonna pick the account. So the account would be ask my client, whatever you wanna call it, the amount, and you just leave it like that. You'll click save and close. And then when you go to pull your reports, let's say that we're gonna pull a report for November. So this is where the magic happens. You, you might be like, but I don't wanna enter that transaction because it'll get lost. No, based off what I'm showing you, you'll be able to go back and find it later. So you'll put in the dates and you'll notice, look at that, $105. Now, I've done this example before, so you'll see it here, but I'm gonna show you how you're gonna change it to be up there. So you have ask my client, you double click on that and you go, oh, look it, there we have a transaction double click on it again, it'll pull up what the transaction is. Okay. So this is how you can put them all in there, but they don't get lost. They'll always still show up on the profit and loss and they'll always be under list chart of accounts down at the bottom, ask my client and you can double click and you'll find any of them based off the date. So you gotta make sure you have the right dates, any transactions that you've entered. So you can always print this report and be like, these are all the things I still need to help with. Can you, can you go back and look for these? Okay. And this will tell them like where they spent the money. This is the bank account or credit card that they use depending on the transaction. All right. So another thing that you can do is let's say that you knew that it was for the job supplies, right? But maybe you don't know which uh, customer it's for or more details that you need. You can always click ask client here, put a zero amount and say need customer details and click save and close and it's gonna show up as a zero on your report now, right? So when you go here and you pull up your profit and loss, and let's just say we do it for all, just to keep it simple, we'll see a zero, we double click, and the transaction's still sitting there, and you might be like, yeah, but it's zero. That's a reminder that you'll notice in the memo, you need the customer details. You open it up, they give you the customer details, they come back to you, you choose the customer you want to go to, whether it's billable or not, then you can delete this line, save it, and now you've gone in and you've entered all the detail for the transaction that you need, and it will remove it. So by creating the Ask My Client account, it will save you able to go save you time because you'll be able to enter all the transactions as you go, and then have a way to go back and find them later because maybe there's something more you need. But this way you can still reconcile, which is one of the things I love to teach you is so important to do. If you enjoyed this tip or you had an aha moment, share with me in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And if you know anybody who needs help with QuickBooks, let them know about our tips and tricks. We send them out every week. You can go up above or down below to get them. And I look forward to seeing you on our next tip and trick. If you are needing support with QuickBooks and learning how to really customize it, don't forget to check out our workshop. Have a nice day and I'll see you inside our next tip and trick. Bye.